Hi, I'm Chris from Future Music. We're here on the Coma Electronics stand with Wuta, who's going to show us a few little bits and pieces and uh, a brand new, unique item that everybody needs in their studio. For so, sure. take over Wuta. Yes, new pedal out. <laughs> Not so long. And here at Messen, the Coma Electronic RH301, a must need for small studios, people who have DAWs, have MIDI, have analog gear, have all this stuff running at the same time in sync. You want it to run in sync. That's what the RH301 does. In the end, you can sync it up to MIDI, sync it up to DIN sync. It gets MIDI out, DIN out, and MIDI true. You get two clock outs and two divisions of that clock and a syncable LFO and a syncable ADSR. This means that you can kind of hook up anything to it. It has a tap tempo, you can sync it externally, and you can run it freely. There we go. At the moment, we're running the Tons Bear. It's in sync, synced up through MIDI. We run this dub for here, the dub for dark time, synced up to analog clock. And we're running the modular right there, also synced up by clock. We're using the coma filter here, synced through the clock out to the external clock in, so you see the sequence runs nicely in time. You can play around with that. And then with the LFO out, we have it running to the BD-101 right here. So the LFO from the RH301 is running into the delay time of the uh, uh, analog delay right here and when you play with the symmetry you can still in time play around with the settings you can set the rate here so now it's going really quick you can change the symmetry if it's in the middle you get like the normal signal change the room and give it a groove and get your whole setup and shape same goes for the envelope out, which is here in the bottom. You can sync it to the division output or to the clock output itself. So you keep everything in line, running next to each other. Very easy to use. And it will, uh, it will make your life on a daily basis in the studio a lot easier. MRSP, 450 euros, including VAT. It's a little bit less when you're outside of Europe. And shipping right now to our uh, retailers. So, I mean, give us a, I mean, this is quite an elaborate setup here. Yeah, yeah, but um, give us kind of a, a more basic example of, so maybe somebody who's got a couple of analog synths or some old synths, yeah, and, exactly. and they want to integrate with the door. This is, this is the unit. Exactly. So you can run in, like you can take your MIDI clock out from Ableton Live, for instance. Yeah. You can run that into the RH301. Then when you have a 303, you can sync it up to the DIN outs. If you have an 808, you can sync it up to analog clock or you know, MIDI stuff. The Tons Bear here, synced up by MIDI. The whole modular system synced up by clock. You can set division times as well, sequences. Like literally anything you can think about can be synced up through this machine. Also, if you have only, uh, if you have a very cool drum computer which only gives out a analog clock signal, analog clock in, MIDI out. It's it's the cheapest solution, the cheapest solution, the best solution in our in our mind, at least. We uh, else we would not make it. And uh, very important as well, you have these musical options through the LFO that's always on time, on clock, and synced. So you can very easily make very musical and and very funky and we have uh, things with the it. triggers as well right exactly so do we have an extra cable let's see where is what well that's a good moment to explain you're the product yes <laughs> <laughs> when you're missing cables there is another pro product to solve this isn't it there is another product to solve this <laughs> the coma electronic modular cable hanger right there in this setup we have two cable hangers of the medium size we also have a nice longer one, which is hanging right over there. You know, everybody has a couple HP left in their racks. And why not use it in the most simple way possible? Hang your cables there. 
The space is filled, your cables are organized, and you um, can. Uh, you you can got one on you. Too. Yeah. So you can even even portable. Yeah, you can use it as a tie as well. You can use it as a calm, a pasta, pasta. You know. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. MRSP, 25 euros, and shipping very, very, very soon. So show us the triggers on the clock. Okay, the triggers on the clock. Um, two clock triggers right now. Yeah, so this one we just put in there, you know, external clock in, you see that it comes in there. You run to a sequencer. The other clock here, we can put into the external gate of the filter. So you can gate the signal before it gets delayed. It gives even more fun to it. LFOs running into delay time here. So you get the... So you really play around with the CV in of the delay time here. And of course you can also change that with the comma sensors. So you can control the LFO symmetry also with the sensor. You can change the speed of the LFO. Or you can reset the LFO, for instance, also with, with the sensor, so it starts every time back at zero. It's so much fun. Well, what we have been doing at the mess so far is just dance. <laughs> dance, dance. I was about to say, thanks for showing us, actually. Thanks for dancing with us. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot.